is going on my outdoor crew happy saturday to you time you see this i've already taken my shower grabbed my food together no take it back because this usually comes out about eight o'clock on saturday It'll be a couple hours before i actually leave but right now you'll look got the back of the truck open this is sunday week before take off Saturday, well today when you see this, um, so I'm just changing some things up in the truck, adding some things to my gear that I know I need to replenish. We'll see how good these work. I usually get the uh, uh, Duraflame ones. Uh, Wally World uh, only has these. Come on, Sam. Get back to these. Anyways. So I got some of these. I'm going to put them in my box. I'm changing my cook box up a little bit. Nothing major. Taking something out. I'm actually putting something else in. Because, um, well, we'll talk about it a little more here in a minute. But anyway, I'm going camping today, guys. I'm actually doing an overnighter. Put a video out last Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday about it. And um, so I'm leaving here in a little bit. Time you see this go camping uh right now and this is sunday the week before right now the weather is what's looks like it's gonna be nice and pretty but it might be kind of cool so i'm making room and gonna probably take the heater just have it to warm up first thing sunday morning when i get up in the tent if you're wondering why i'm stalling i'm trying to get the weather channel pulled up so next Saturday, high of 51, low of 35. So it's going to get down to the 30s, which no big deal for me. I'll have my, what is it, uh, negative 5 bag with me, so I'll be playing warm. But I thought it'd be nice to have the heater and tent when I get up. Um, there's a 19% chance of precipitation. Let's look at where I'm going to be going. Hang on, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'll be in Silver Point, Tennessee. It's always good to look up where you're going exactly. Don't rely on what your weather's going to be. So for right now, they're saying 49 for a high, 32 for a low. Uh, high 63 on Sunday, 41 for a low. So it's going to be a cool night, but I'll have, the, like I said, I'll have the Mr. Buddy with me. So we'll warm the tent up. I got plenty of fuel in the truck. Yeah. Should have plenty of fuel. We'll, we'll double check that here in a minute. But anyways, guys, this is just kind of a tune-up um, camp out before me and CJ, I did say CJ, go to the YouTuber meetup. Uh, can't wait to do that. I keep calling, I, I keep wanting to say social media meetup because I don't want anybody. I don't want anybody. It's Instagram, whatever. Why don't you come hang with us? But anyway, so I'm going to set you down. I'm going to do some things to the truck. Uh, inside wise I know you've seen this a time or two on the videos here lately but the trucks pretty well ready uh, I'm just checking over the chuck box real quick but all the gear that I need is in there for the most part I could shove my sleeping bag in if I want to go ahead and shove it in there um, while I'm thinking about it walk over here I gotta get mr. buddy off the shelf I need my big baking pan that it sits on in the tent. I can do it a little different this time since it's me, myself, and I. So that'll be pretty awesome. But we will have the Mr. Buddy heater on. Because if it's going to get down to 32, I want a little, little warm up before I come out of that cozy tent. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, man, we're going to interrupt this uh, Saturday video for real quick. You can get back to the stuff. Getting ready for this trip. But I had something come in today that I had to throw in this video. And I dare say this is probably the... Um, almost the furthest I've had a sticker come from to date. And that's from Cindy Squirrel. As my daughter would say, out of Canada, a eh? from Canada. Um, 
Hope this note finds you well. Love your channel. I get to go places without leaving my chair. Laughing out loud. She sounds like my wife. She likes going places as long as she don't have to leave her chair. Here's my channel sticker that my granddaughter made for me, Cindy. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. If you're parents, grandparents, or whatever, this sticker will make you go, ooh. That is really cool, Cindy. I really appreciate it. We're going to stick it on the beer fridge real quick. Well, let's just call it the fridge. We're going to stick it on the fridge over there. But, uh, be keep an eye on your mail and you'll be getting some mid-10 outdoor stickers yourself. So, be right back. Okay, guys. The sticker is on the fridge. She's in good company, too. Let's take a look real quick. Cannon North, AK Driller, me, Hiking with Sean, Kurt Zitzelman, Mr. Bullet Points, The Real Cover Burnout, Travels with Delaney, Handy Camper, Eat Travel Happy, Native Tears, Tennessee Deer Stalker, James G. Outdoors TT, RVA Hiker Girl, Judy Spirit, Mickelson Family, Barb's Country Home, Get Dirty with the Nature, Nature Man, Michael Burner, Eat Carbs Outdoors, and then Cindy Squirrel. There's her sticker. We still have plenty of room. We've got the bottom of the door. So get those stickers in. Come on. Daddy want more stickers. All right, guys. Back to the other video. Okay, so this is going to be a week-long process, I think. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm going through my tub here that I keep in the truck. And it's got fire starters and stuff in it. And I found out, as I'm looking... I didn't need a box of that yet. Still got one and a half in here. But, you know, you just never know when you're going to need stuff. There's my fire extinguisher in a can. In case I need that. Now, I didn't need those logs. See those little logs I got? There's one in here. I always keep a bag of charcoal in here uh, in case I want to do something else. Cooking wise, there's others in here. But anyway. I need to put that somewhere where I can grab it when I need it, if I need it. But when I get to camp, I normally will put that out in the camp somewhere so that it's accessible, if you know what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and throw these little logs in. These really help if you need to get something started fast. Um, them other fire starters i'm just gonna leave in the garage i'm gonna put them over in my camp stuff because i don't need them yet but the other thing i always keep a coat a spare coat in here it's just an old rain jacket it's really not much of anything i always keep a extension cord in here and i've got a um those things yeah got one of those in there i always keep in there too and the other thing i want to do get it in the house get started this all mashed back down eventually with enough weight on it but uh you'll see i got my fuel back there it's ready to go but i'm gonna bring my lights in and start charging them up so they're charged and ready to go and then i can put them back in this little tub as you see i keep all kinds of stuff in there there's hand warmers and all kinds of stuff straight uh fire matches but Anyway, need to find something better for that. But it is what it is for now. But uh, I'll put this back over here on my camping shelf and all my other camping stuff. Save it for down the road when I really need it. But, you know, I got the one burner to replace the old two burner that I have that propane conversion on. And I was looking the other day at buying another propane instead and have a two burner. So when I do camp with me and Chloe or me and Chase, I've got two burners to cook more stuff. But I don't know. Bleep bloop it down there what you think. The only thing I like about the newer um, Coleman propane stoves is they take up a lot less room in your vehicle. It's kind of like this thing. It just takes up a lot less. You know, what I did in this was the pan I have for dishwater and stuff is not very big. So I got a bigger one 
put in there that I had and uh, that way I can boil more water at one time in case I ever need to of course I'll fill this up for me for water for the weekend before I leave here um, but I've always used this in the winter because it's insulating it keeps it from freezing as easy but um, I would say if it gets down to 32 it probably only do it for a couple of hours so we'll have the morning but yeah I'll be glad to have Mr. Buddy with me in the tent and all that good stuff we're still not showing any rain so that's awesome but I'll get these charged up which they probably are yeah they are so it's almost useless to do it these probably a little closer to needing being charged and yeah, let's see what Mr. Well, this has got two lights on it already, so I'll just throw that in the windshield for the week. Let it charge as we drive around and stuff, and it'll be good to go. This is the only thing that I have that I'll stick on my charger over there and charge it. But uh, I'm ready to go camping. I'm ready for the big meetup in May 13th through the 15th, coming to Mountain State Park. But Today, I'm headed to Edgar Evans, so you'll see that video in a couple weeks. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, I'm ready to go camping, cut the grass today, so it won't be needing done for at least a couple more weeks. Uh, it really didn't need to be done today. It's just a lot of weeds. <laughs> so, a lot of weeds, but uh, it's greening up. Here in Tennessee, unlike some of you guys that are still getting snow and stuff, we're cutting grass already second day of april and i'm third day of april and i'm cutting grass all right guys that's it for this one appreciate you watching we will see you on the next video be prepared